nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up! Okay, hear me out. I know that title is kinda alarming, but I literally just jotted down this idea for a shorts video and then it just festered and kept spreading and I'm like, oh my god, could it be? Now, we all know Master Fu and Marinette kind of from the same racial background. You could say they're both Chinese or we'll just keep it a flat line and say they're both Asian. Adrian is not, but Master Fu has been showing some favoritism for Marinette, which is not really a foreign or new concept. We've known that he likes to train her more. We know that he calls her more. He, 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 he goes the extra mile to be a guardian for her, unlike he does for Adrian. Whereas with Marinette as the guardian, she is kind of like the best version of it. Like she's there for Alia and even in the new season, she's there for Adrian and she kind of She's kind of, I don't want to say she's better, well I do, but she's more holding Alia's hand through everything ever since she revealed it. And even though she kind of shafted Cat Noir for season 4, season 5 is making off of it, and we knew her reasons for doing so, look at me defending my girl. Um, but she's holding both their hands and being more involved, and even with the past holders, she was kind of there. But with Master Fu, he just kind of let Adrian be. Adrian. He just let Cat Noir go wild, but he gave Marinette the teaching, the understanding, and sometimes it'd be Marinette that have to go to Adrian and tell him something that happened with Master Fu, and we all really didn't like that. So, here's the thing. When Master Fu was picking a guardian, we know he kind of did that trial of, oh, I'm gonna trip and fall, and whoever comes and helps me, Marinette was literally in his line of sight. But with Adrian, boy had already left. He, nobody else helped Master Fu. Adrian heard it turn around and came back, which makes me feel like Master Fu really didn't want him to be the one. Now, my theory is that he wanted Kim to be the cat miraculous odor because out of Marinette is more diverse in choosing her miraculous odor. So let's be honest, the first person she gave after she got it, Master Fu wasn't even the one to pick it. Marinette just gave Alia, then she gave Nino, then she, she didn't even give Chloe. <laughs> Marinette is kind of more inclusive than her own master, but we're not gonna go into that. Well, we will, but we won't. Uh, quick pause for a moment, sorry for the interruption, I normally hate doing this because it gives me more editing work after the fact, but this is just for me to announce that I launched a new merch store tomorrow. And I know what you're thinking, if you're launching it tomorrow, why are you telling us today bestie? That's because if you can get the password, you get access to it right now. It's a fun little kind of like scavenger hunt thing, but not really. If you know me or you've been paying any attention to the channel, this is going to be very easy. If not, good luck. But yeah, you can go to the first link in the description right now and it will take you to the webpage. It has a really nice countdown. I'm really happy about it. And I'm just putting this in here because I created this after making the video. So if you can guess my name. You have access if not then sorry you gotta wait till tomorrow um but just a little sneak peek of some things that are in there i have finally been able to get the miraculous hogwarts merch up there's just a limited items warner brothers and zach studios have been after my ass for this design so if you really like this and you've been wanting it it's here get it now before they take it away and also end of the year discount sale okay back to the video Mas the only person Master Fu has given a miraculous outside of Marinette and Adrian, and whenever we already established Adrian was kind of outside his control, he was the only one that helped him, and he was like, "Ah, oh, fine, here, take the take the damn cat ring. It's I don't care about it anyway. The ladybug one is the important one." <laughs> he, the next person he gave was in Party Crusher, and who was it? Kim. He specifically picked out Kim. Marinette did not pick him out. And Kim is what? He is Asian. Oh my god, the coincidence. <laughs> I am being such a troublemaker. Please don't take this thing to heart. I'm just being an idiot. So with that, my brain started going back and thinking, huh, it would be so wild. Because I'm doing all of this from memory. But it would be so wild if if in the first episode or whatever, when, when Master Fu gave Adrian the ring, what if Kim was there? I would actually lose my shit if I'm editing this and I find Kim anywhere within the vicinity. It will be the anime that's kind of hinting to us what is happening, but it's not a stretch. But Adrian did come to school late. The school had already started, classes had already started, so he best of all probably didn't plan it. 
But then again, he was just trying to find a holder. Imagine if the person who came and helped Master Fu was like a 45 year old dude. Like that artist guy or whatever that had a crush on Ladybug and now you paired a 14 year old with a 40 year old. But no, just now we're not gonna get into that. It's just a brain fart of an idea of a theory that what if Master Fu was actually kind of racist. He just preferred giving his Asian brethren and sister Ren to fuck my brain. He just preferred giving them the miraculous over other people. Because again, Marinette is the one that chooses all the people of variety and he doesn't. But then again, one could argue Masafu kind of convinced Ladybug to leave the miraculous for Chloe. Or no, he didn't. I think he said she should go and collect key. She should go and collect it. Again, memory. You, that's your job. The comment section is for you to remind me what I did wrong. I'm not the one that's gonna do research. <laughs> My job is to make the videos and make incendiary comments and thumbnails and just, you know, drive chaos as far as it can go. But that's where this video will end. Thanks for so much for clicking to watch. If you're looking for something to watch after this video, here, watch my previous video where I talk about how Disney is racist and they are just bombing their movies. Well, not very racist, they're homophobic. They'd rather nuke their own movies than, you know, promote it and give the gays a win. But yeah, as well, <laughs> that's gonna be all from me, folks. Thanks so much for coming to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And with that being said, this is DBC. Signing out.